Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's November 8th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market, which this past week enjoyed one of the biggest days in the history of the stock market following the 2024 presidential election, which saw many companies jump up significantly in terms of their share value. And we're going to shout out five of them right now. As of November 8th, 2024, Waste Management is now trading at $225.15 per share. Republic Services Incorporated jumped up significantly, now trading at $212.57 per share. Ranger Energy Services also enjoyed a significant increase, now sitting at $15.21 per share. Brookfield Renewable Core similarly had a significant increase, now trading at $31.41 per share. And lastly, Nextera Energy is currently trading at $77.14 per share. But now moving into the news, turned out waste management had a big week even outside of the stock market. The industry giant just completed its $7.2 billion acquisition of medical recycling company Stericycle this past week. The transaction valued the company at $62 per share. The assets are to be moved into the Waste Management Healthcare Solutions Division. Rafa Carrasco, a senior vice president at Waste Management who managed the deal integration team, will now serve as president of Waste Management's Healthcare Solutions. CEO Jim Fish even said in a statement, quote, This acquisition provides a complementary business platform in medical waste, a sector with attractive near- and long-term growth dynamics, and in secure information destruction services to further our leading suite of comprehensive waste and environmental solutions. End quote. And up next, Sapphire Gas Solutions, a liquefied natural gas and renewable natural gas provider, just received approval from the U.S. Department of Energy to export domestically produced LNG under a long-term multi-contract authorization through 2050. This approval allows Sapphire to export the equivalent of 626 million gallons per day of LNG to both free trade agreement and non-free trade agreement countries, enabling the company to support energy demand worldwide, particularly in regions facing increasing supply restrictions. Sam Thigpen, the chief executive officer of Sapphire Gas Solutions, said, quote, We are excited to receive this authorization from the DOE. This approval not only strengthens our commitment to expanding the global reach of U.S. produced LNG, but also underscores our ability to deliver innovative energy solutions that contribute to reducing carbon emissions and promoting energy security around the world, end quote. But speaking of international renewable gas sales, Italy-based Edison just signed a long-term biomethane purchase agreement with Canadevia in Nova. The agreement has a term of 15 years. By the first half of 2025, Canadevia in Nova will complete construction of a biomethane plant powered by agricultural byproducts in the province of Cuneo, Italy. The annual volume is expected to be about 3 million cubic meters. Fabio Dubini, the executive vice president of gas and power portfolio management and optimization at Edison, said, quote, Thanks to this agreement, Edison strengthens its position in the Italian and European green gas market. At the same time, it confirms its commitment to accompany its customers on the path to decarbonization through increasing shares of green gas, such as biomethane and bio-LNG, end quote. And staying overseas for a moment, First Renewables confirmed this past week production has begun at its biogas upgrade facility in Broadlands, New Zealand. 
According to a statement from the company, the facility alone can supply enough renewable gas to power up to 7,200 homes while also reducing CO2 emissions by 11,000 tons per year. James Irvine, the general manager of Future Fuels at Claris, hailed this as a historic milestone for the country's gas pipeline infrastructure, saying, quote, We are thrilled to confirm that renewable gas is now flowing through a first gas pipeline for the first time, marking a pivotal moment not only for the gas industry, but for New Zealand's journey towards a sustainable, low-carbon energy future, end quote. And just a quick reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. But getting back into the news, we are continuing our trend of talking about companies taking their renewable gas business international with a couple stories about Canadian organizations. First up, Energia Incorporated announced this past week they are expanding their commercial footprint by opening a new office in Tokyo, Japan. The new office is expected to open in 2025. According to a statement from the company, the expansion reflects, quote, our outlook for the increasing opportunities for energy as proprietary solutions in the Japanese market, end quote. As if on, the CEO of Energia even went further, saying, quote, expanding our marketing presence by opening an office in Japan reflects our high degree of confidence in the future for Energia in this market. We are looking forward to building on past successes in Japan as we pursue our mission to accelerate the world's clean energy transition by transforming waste into renewable fuel, clean water, and fertilizer, and to become the world's leading renewable fuel producer while reducing global carbon emissions, protecting the environment, and sustaining life for generations to come. End quote. And now moving to British Columbia, Green Lane Renewables Incorporated announced this past week two service agreements signed with an international energy company for two of its dairy renewable natural gas project sites in the United States, for which Green Lane previously supplied the biogas upgrading systems. Green Lane is expanding its presence in North and South America through maintenance contracts of its so-called three-tiered service offerings branded as bronze, silver, and gold designed to meet diverse customer needs. The customer's name has not been disclosed at this time. However, Brad DeVille, the CEO of Green Lane, did say, quote, with over 20 biogas upgrading systems commissioned in the last two years and over 145 systems deployed globally in total, Green Lane has a large target customer base for our enhanced service offerings executed by our growing team of talented service specialists, end quote. But it's not all international exports today, as Chesapeake Utility Corps officially cut the ribbon this past week on a renewable natural gas facility at Full Circle Dairy in Lee, Florida. The facility, a full-scale dairy maneuver to pipeline quality renewable natural gas operation, represents a capital investment of $22 million. Now, the facility actually began producing RNG in June this past year and is expected to capture and redirect more than 1,100 metric tons of methane per year into RNG, equivalent to powering 3,500 homes a year. Jeff Householder, the CEO of Chesapeake, even said, quote, The RNG facility at Full Circle Dairy is a great example of our ability to leverage our expertise across the entire energy delivery value chain, from production to virtual pipeline transportation, injection, transmission, and distribution, while supporting our strategic focus on prudent capital deployment. End quote. 
And lastly, Opal Fuels announced this past week that construction has commenced on yet another new landfill gas to renewable natural gas processing facility. This one at the Kirby Canyon Landfill located in Santa Clara County, California. The new facility will have an initial annual design capacity of approximately 0.66 million British thermal units and is 100% owned by Opal Fuels. The project will capture biogas produced naturally from Kirby Canyon Landfill and converted into pipeline quality low carbon RNG. Based on the design capacity of the plant, approximately 5.1 million gallons of RNG will be produced annually. And that will do it for your November 8th, 2024 News Roundup, brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.